Comezzi Entertainment. Alien Isolation Review. You play as Ellen Ripley's daughter, and you're basically trying to find your mother that disappeared 15 years ago. This is a stealth game, pretty much. There are crafting elements, which are, you know, you find weapons and you craft different elements to basically avoid detection. The graphics are nice. They did a really good job on detail. Now basically, what you gotta do is avoid the alien, but there are other things on the ship that you're supposed to avoid as well, like androids, people, soldiers, they're all basically wanting to kill you, regardless of what the, you know, the back of the box says, because no one's going to be your friend, they're all just going to try to shoot you in your face. The alien hides in the vents, and you can hear him crawling around, which is really spooky. Kind of gets you on your, you know, on your fucking uh, toes. The hide-and-seek element in this game is fun. I enjoyed it. But expect to die a lot. I died in this game, oh my god, like 300 times. This game is also extremely long. And some of the deaths are cheap, but eh, they're always a way around it. You know, it's not like you're stuck anywhere for too long. Characters, they all have good backstories, I guess. You don't really pay attention too much. You just kind of want the game to end. I've been playing for about almost 20 hours. I have it on hard, and I'm barely halfway through the game. This game is intensely long. It'll do a lot of backtracking. I'd have to, of this game, I'd have to give it a 7.5. You know, I'm still enjoying it, and I won't stop until it's done. This game is fun. Alien Isolation. If you're a fan of survival horror, and stealth games, and you like the Alien franchise, I suggest you pick this up. But expect to die a lot. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, I would love to have you. Follow me on Twitter. That'd be cool too.